Are you alive like me, though? No, uh, possibly. Yeah. Very, very recently, because yesterday we felt pretty dead. Yeah. But today you feel OK? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Feel good. Not too tired? Not, yeah. no. Jet lag is a real a thing. Bit, oh, I know. <laughs> It's yeah. a, it does exist. When you fly back to, well, for you guys, when you fly to Europe, it's, it's bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It lasts about a week for me when I go back home. Really? It took two days. Two yeah, I think days I beat it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. pretty good. So is your first time in Europe? Yeah. Tell me about it. How do you like it so far? It's great. Definitely culture shock. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. love it. Yeah. Architecture is mind-blowing. Like, yeah. just looking at all the buildings and stuff, it's like... Phew. Amsterdam yeah. has been, like, the most... Yeah like European and like when we think of like Europe like this is definitely I've only been here for like five hours yeah. Yeah. yeah what have you guys done today in Amsterdam uh we drove through it and then came here we yeah. parked we parked <laughs> yeah. no uh, yeah. we had to do we did Not sound here. check I think yeah, we, we, we have a day off tomorrow. tomorrow yeah yeah we're staying yeah. here so we're gonna do a lot tomorrow here mm -hmm. Fun. There's a couple of really good places. You go to the red light district, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to uh, Dem Square. There's a, you know, lots of statues there. Okay. Go on like a canal cruise. I suggest you go on one of those. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a lot That's of awesome. Fun. Definitely. Hey, so you guys, um, first European tour with Crown the Empire. How's the tour so far? How's, you know, the response from people in Europe for you guys? It's great. Yeah. Every, every time we tour overseas, like the, the crowds are always really receptive and they love, you know, American bands and all the people in the bands are awesome people, yeah. so it's just a yeah, really great getting tour. Getting a chance to be somewhere so far away and seeing people singing your lyrics and oh, it's, yeah. it's the most amazing feeling. The very first blood. night, like I had like a pretty emotional experience. Yeah, I mean, I saw you, you're just like I, I, I mean, I don't know. I saw <laughs> one person specifically, and they were just like singing a song. It wasn't even like one of our singles. It was like one of the other songs that we like that mean more to me almost, but like yeah. not that weren't pushed as hard on the internet. But just singing along, and it was just like. Damn, we're a long way from home. Yeah, it hits you right, right here. Right yeah. in the heart. Right in the heart. Yeah. So, you know, Europe and everything, um, the fan base, do you feel like it's growing the more and more shows you're going to play on this run as well? Like, how do you see that on, like, social network and everything? Do you have a lot of fans over here? Um, yeah, we have quite a few yeah. like, people tweeting at yeah. us and yeah. commenting on our Facebook Instagram. saying, can't wait to see you in Amsterdam. Oh. Well, like, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no one types bad. like that. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the old style keyboards from like the 90s. You know, we have to press down really hard. You know, pretty impressed if you could do that and yeah. maintain <laughs> accuracy. Like, I love a lot like me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you guys brought out your first full length record um, not so long ago, Only Forever. Tell me something. How is it like to work on your first full length record? It took a while. <laughs> yeah. We all moved in together and yeah. just wrote, wrote the record, and uh, then we went over to Brian for a lot, Rain City Audio in Portland, Oregon. Shout out. And <laughs> <laughs> Insert plug here. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, he helped us polish them out, and how long do you think that was? The, the, the whole process. Oh, it was more. It was, in it was the 60 studio, days in the studio. 60 days yeah. in the studio. And but. we put in more, because we, we were planning on it being an EP, so we did it in, like, initially we put studio time into into that before we even knew we were going to be signed or knew that this was going to be a, like a full length release but yeah. so the entire process has been a year and a half in the making yeah, probably. Yeah. can you go into detail a little bit about the writing process of an album for you guys yeah there's a couple different ways like songs started out either it started out with a guitar like just an idea lead, or a riff or, or he'll, he'll like map it out on the computer with like some midi like piano mm -hmm. or like I'll have like a, a hook that I write and like I like this melody and then we'll start from there and yeah, yeah. And just kind of build the songs around. And we all we were all in the same room together. Like it was never like okay, Dakota's yeah, no. off and written five we songs were, or whatever. Yeah. We it were was, all very present with every then song. Each and every one of us plays guitar. So I mean, there's yeah. song there, there's parts of the of of the record that you know he has a guitar part that he's written and like Joel has like some guitar parts and like yeah. there's some drum parts that I wrote and like yeah. you know obviously Melodies like we're that all everyone wrote. yeah. Yep. Yep. It's been like a giant collaboration it's, between us. So. It's truly just us, yeah. as musicians. Do you feel that shows in your music as well, then? Definitely. I think mm -hmm. that that's what makes a band, really, is For sure. the uniqueness of each person mm -hmm. combining into this one thing. Melting yeah. pot. Mm -hmm. So how do you try and stay yourself in your music industry that's like so forceful with like certain things and everything? Having, having passion and drive towards you know, being yourself and being an individual and yeah. Just staying true to that. Yeah. So it's definitely, I feel like it's easy just 
we all grew up listening to different music, mm -hmm. and uh, so as far as like influences go, like there's a lot of like different stuff on the record. But yeah. like, to, in order to be yourself, like I don't know. It, it's, we know what sound yeah. we're going for. We we wanted to play music that we like to listen to. Like mm -hmm. we've all been in bands in the past where we would write music that we thought would be fun to play live, or we thought was like trendy enough to be cool. But like when we set out with this band, we wanted to write music that we actually liked ourselves. So. You can and go in your car and exactly. play it yourself. Yeah. Songs we can yeah. Yeah. sing along to, you Literally know, like jam our record. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing. It means you like it, right? Yeah. It's important. Hey, so tell me something. Who writes the lyrics in the band here, or do you all mix it together? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go in and like fix little things here and there. Oh, what rhymes with this? That sounds cool. Or, right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me something about the way you write your lyrics? Um, you know, sometimes like I'll just like write a whole song in like five minutes because it's just like there, there's energy that, that just flows that I need to get out yeah. and you know sometimes it's more methodical and more like da 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 hmm, you know, and, and like it takes like weeks to write this one part yeah. you know but I think like yeah just it just, it just comes out sometimes and as far as like uh, you know like topics for the lyrics it's like we sat down and we like consciously made sure yeah, that definitely. the record was well rounded and that we had songs like that covered certain things and mm -hmm. weren't we weren't too redundant about our topics so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it all kept like a very positive and uplifting theme throughout exactly. the whole record yeah. So. yeah we definitely want people to have that feeling when they hear music yeah because I was gonna say like because you say you know you, you kind of put your lyrics together in that way but what kind of theme would you say your album then brings out you say positive and happy definitely. but anything else really surrounding that like. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff came out about um, like wasted time, mm -hmm. wasted time that we spent um, not doing what we love, wasted time that we spent you know with people yeah. that weren't necessarily the best people to spend time with. Um, I think we really want people just to just get on this road of like of positivity yeah. and, and direction with their life and just do what you want. Yeah, definitely. You do what you want. You can't sit around wasting time. Exactly, You're not doing what you want to do. Um, so, how do you guys try and promote a new record yourself? Like, I know management and whatnot does a part as well. How do you guys do that? We have like certain things, like certain venues that we want to like put our music out on. Like, we want to make sure that we have like we release our music on like the Rise page because that's like the biggest the biggest push as far as like you know, like promoting our band goes, mm -hmm. and then we make sure that we do other things, like keep our Facebook up to date and all the social media and that kind of stuff. We suck at that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> do you guys do it yourself? Do yeah. 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 We try yeah, so. and post we, as much we stuff try as possible. To do it. Yeah. We used to go on Omegle. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little, do, oh God, that came after Stickham, didn't it? Do you remember Stickham? Oh, yeah. yeah. That is old school. I know, I, I miss Stickham. Oh, I do too. We that should make a, a new one. I was talking to one of my friends about it the other day. I was like, MySpace and stick him, and it's all gone. Yeah, I think, I think MySpace needs to come yeah, back. Yeah, MySpace was, yeah, it was had more personality than Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, so... Yeah. And then, yeah. then Chat Roulette came. Uh, now, that was awful. Do you guys remember that? Like, oh! <laughs> next, next, <laughs> next, next, next. Okay, next. Like, I'm just going oh, no, no, yeah. like, I'm just, is, I'm just going to go somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Things should not, like, yeah. no, <laughs> don't go there. But yeah, how do you, so you try and stay in touch with fans via Facebook and everything. Is there anything personal you try and do to talk to fans and, you know, our, stay in touch? Personal, our personal accounts, for sure, like our Twitter accounts yeah. and stuff, we'll have DMs from fans and yeah. we try to Yeah, we always stay, reply. Yeah, definitely. Always reply. Twitter's always, great for that. Always favorite, yeah. retweet, you know. Yeah. Things that make people be like, oh, you know, they Re notice. Uh, <laughs> Regranting like, yeah, of pictures <laughs> from shows that... Uh, fans post on Instagram is a big yeah. thing yeah. too. Just like it. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh my god, he liked my photo. Me, uh, like, 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 like. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Aww, that's yeah. Hey, so how do you guys try and um, push your boundaries, you know, musically, personally, being in a band? Push our boundaries. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's for, hard. yeah, for me, like, um, just getting better at, like, my craft and singing uh, is an everyday, like, struggle. It's an everyday reoccurrence and getting vocal lessons and like spending hours and hours like researching like proper technique and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. I think I think definitely pushing boundaries with it's that. Improving is necessary. it improving at songwriting too. Yeah. Just like yeah, understanding definitely. like structures and like how mm -hmm. things like flow together and like 
once you understand it, you can manipulate it in cool ways. But like, yeah. there's like, definitely you cannot be good enough at like songwriting. I think so. It's tough. Yeah. And music theory. Are you bad at music theory, all of you? Or? We're okay at it. I don't have any music theory. <laughs> I always forget. I've def I've taken a few classes, like, but I always forget. I, stuff. I like played piano for a few years yeah. and learned theory from that, and I was in band in like middle school and high school and stuff like that. But that's about, that's about okay, it. Okay, though. Hey, and you guys, what is your opinion on um, you play a show and there's lots of kids in the crowd, but all you see is little cell phones in the air? What do you think about this? Mm. <laughs> It's cool to take mementos, but like you know, li living, living, living in the moment isn't necessarily the worst thing. You know what I mean? Just make, make the time that you have there special and yeah. do that by experiencing it in every way that you can instead mm -hmm. of just like... You know. I think no. that um, the way like some people see things mm -hmm. shouldn't always be the way that other people see things. So if, if right. this person is filming with their phone, that is like is what that's what's is making them super happy. Like that's what they're loving to do. They're and they want to go home and they want to show their friends and they want to put it on Facebook. Uh -huh. And that's what's going to make them super happy about going to that show. So like, uh, yeah, like people who who are, like, you know, like oh, worried yeah, about true. like why are you just sitting there filming it? Like, like yeah. you know, like you sh you should focus on like what makes you happy and like they should focus on like, what makes them happy. So yeah. I like that answer. Uh, yeah, and there's always those people who like see cell phones and it'll just be like. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Yeah. Like, that's the worst <laughs> thing to do. Did you guys? God, when was it? Not so long ago. Some I don't know. If a guitarist from a band, like some fan, got on stage and took a selfie. Yeah, Did no, you get kicked a phone out of a fan's hand? Wow. Wow. I forgot who it was. I don't want to mention names, but yeah, it was. Um, I think it's never good to that. treat your fans that yeah, way. That's like, what, that's what see, I did the opposite. Like, I saw someone filming, and I like took their phone and I took it on stage and like, yeah, <laughs> give well, it back. And it makes the kids happy, right? Yeah. Hey, so what's um, after this tour for you guys? You go back to the states. Mm -hmm. Back to the states, we're gonna start, you know, writing some music, hopefully. Yep. yep. And uh, definitely just practicing together. Yeah. We have getting warp, ready for Warped Tour. Tour lined up. So yeah. Getting Warped Tour again this summer? Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. So that's coming up in June. So The entire tour this time? No, no. just the yeah. first half. Yeah. First half? Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Any more music coming up for you guys? Or just staying, keeping that for a while? See, hopefully. Yeah. yeah I think yeah, no, no promises. We might, be doing a, <laughs> we might be doing a cover song. So. Yeah. Yeah. Covers so. are nice. Yeah. Is, it, is it Taylor Swift? It's not, nope. but... Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, is there any... You anyway. <laughs> Come on, I'm a nice journalist here. Fair enough. I, I won't spell, I promise. So, do you guys want to say anything to the fans while you're watching? Uh, while they're watching? Thank you so much for yes. watching. Yeah. the world. Uh, it really does. Thank you. Go check out some music. If you guys don't know who we are, and you stumbled upon this, and check it out. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys, and thanks for watching. And we'll see you later.